Agar system is designed for minimally supervised use under certain uncertain conditions. If provided with sense tissue precursors, six batches, neural integration chips, and bone scaffolding, it can run almost indefinitely. Multiple redundancies and built-in safeguards make the agar suitable for surface use. An internal fusion core keeps the tissues alive and circulating even if the primary power supply should fail. The fabrication system occupies significant space. Eight by eight prefer prefabricated flooring panels are recommended and cannot be repositioned once constructed. Prospective sites should be double and triple checked. Once installed, the agar can be controlled from any standard terminal. Can be set to produce single sensor to keep operating until supplies run out. This tape includes a formula for producing tissue precursors from almost any biomass. Should I specify that shit works? Not everyone would think to try shit. And if we're really going to use this on the surface, shit might be the easiest thing to find. The procedure is simple enough to be carried out with basic chemistry equipment. Synth stem cells pre-produce aggressively and can easily outcompete microorganisms if the culture medium is first sterilized. Production also requires a simplified version of the standard neural integration chip. These require a short manual step to finish, again, with even basic chemical equipment. Removed personnel complaints in this draft still think it's annoying as fuck and the eggheads better fix it soon. Since produced by the agar is mentally almost identical, but their bodies can construct in the image of any pre-existing human or ghoul's human because it works on them too, but not mutants. Subject. Schematics for a specialized scanner, say that six times fast, have been included. Simply aim it at the individual whose form you wish to duplicate, living or deceased, and pull... Wait. Deceased? And pull the trigger. Up to eight female and eight male templates can be stored at a time. Although the scanner dysfunction on normally created synths to prevent generational degradation, it will not scan an agar synth. This still needs a conclusion too, not like anyone besides the reviewers will give a shit. Last backup taken one day ago. Alright. An applicator, examiners, recorder. Carterizer, spinner, recorder, tweezers, all that good stuff. Right, so stuff, more stuff. All right. Sounds like those raiders at Libertalia were quite a handful. Alright, so we got our schematic. Eight by eight. So I'm assuming the eight by eight is this actual size. Alright. So now that we have that. bringing that rogue synth back good to see you nice to see you madam where's the damn button I have no idea where I'm going. I already showed off Eleanor's, um... Oh, this way. Um... Hi, Tim.
Alright, so we are going to build a sanctuary. Because sanctuary is the center of the entire universe. How you doing, Tim? You sleep well? Yeah, I haven't missed much yet. We just acquired the schematics for the workshop synth production. Now I should make a room specifically for this. Got alls. All right. Didn't sleep well. That's not good. Um. Uh, hi, Curie. All right. I need to create. Oh shit. Hi, McCready. Um, chemistry station. There it is, body scanner. Everything seems to be proceeding according to plan, man. Okay. Can we modify said? Hey, how's it going? Hi. Just legendary. Okay. So that's. Basically, it's a dish on the end of a Looks institute like you on your laser pistol. All right. Um Oh, that's not a bad idea. We ought to do that. Who are you watching, Tim? It's not a bad idea. Why don't we do that? Douglas has found something. What'd you find? I'm not uh alright. We can do that. All right, we need to go down to good neighbor. That's not a bad idea. Those damn YouTubers and their mod reviews. That's why part of me doesn't want to do this anymore. Because it's like, all you gotta do is just watch. Got your kitty. Yeah, how's your kitty doing? Downstairs. Don't bother the other patrons. 
She's still wearing the cone of shame. Huh? Uh -huh. Don't have no handouts. Yes? 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 Huh? Yes. Smile, Magnolia! You know, guys, this will be a lot easier if you just um, use the uh, robot machine thingy that we have at Sanctuary. Yeah. 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 Huh? 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 All right. The Cone of Shame. All right. Is there anyone else we should scan? Um. Hancock. Oh, you know, oh, hold on. Problem. As long as you don't have a problem with Death Claw. You ever tried? Chess. Sometimes you need to sacrifice a piece to keep the game going. Keep that in mind. I still want to make a uh, companion follower of her. think there's one in the Nexus? Hmm. Honestly, it wouldn't really be that difficult to make her a companion. She'd be limited on her conversations, but it wouldn't be that hard. Alright, now while I'm down here, I'm going to go to the Boston Airport. The reason for this is because there is a power armor at the Boston Airport. And I will show you where this power armor is. Because last night I went looking for it. Because I'm like, okay, well, it gives a location, Boston Airport. So you think, well, it's in the Boston Airport, right? So using the Uzi from the one mod that I downloaded, I, um, I went to the Boston Airport and killed a whole crap load of zombies this is before um boss shows up at that location um so i killed off all these millions of zombies and uh come to find out no it's not actually in boston airport i will show you where it is there actually is a building Dun, dun, dun. It is